There's one more thing that needs to be explained. Down at the bottom of my code, and I'm in the 00 underscore operators project here, you'll see these expressions a plus plus and a minus minus. The plus plus and the minus minus are increment and decrement operators. They add one or subtract one from a variable. So a plus plus is equivalent to saying a equals a plus one and a minus minus is equivalent to a equals a minus one. Now you've seen examples of the plus plus operator before. Here is a file from step two of this course. I've used plus plus to increment the value of the loop counter inside a for loop. Now I'll explain loops later in the course, but for now you just need to understand that when you see i plus plus, the value of i is being increased by one. Let's go back to my main sample project. Now, you may optionally put the plus plus or minus minus operators before a variable instead of after it. I'll scroll up to the top so you can see an example in the function called show prefix and postfix ops. When placed before the variable, these are said to be prefix operators, and when placed after the variable, they are called postfix operators. The position of the operators has a subtly different effect. Now here I write num1++ to add 1 to the num1 variable, and I make an assignment to num2. What happens here is that the num2 variable is assigned the value of num1 before its value has been incremented. In other words, this expression says assign the value of num1 to num2 and only then increment the value of num1. But if I write plus plus num1, the value of num1 is incremented first. That's before its value is assigned to num2. So here, num2 will have the incremented value of num1. You can see this by running the code. So that's what I'll do now. And here are the results. So here, the existing value of the num1 variable, which is 10, is assigned to num2. So num2 has the value 10. And then num1 is incremented so that num1 has the value 11. But here what happens is that num1 is incremented first. And so its value is now 11. And then this new value of num1, that is 11, is assigned to num2. So now num1 and num2 have the same value, namely 11. Now, if you find this confusing, don't worry. As a general rule, I would recommend that you stick to using plus plus and minus minus as postfix operators, that is, after the variable. In fact, there's nothing wrong with using the longer form, a equals a plus one or a equals a minus one, in most cases. The problems arise when you mix prefix and postfix operators in your code. That can be very confusing and it could lead to quite hard to find bugs. So, whenever possible, keep it simple and keep it clear.